So if you haven't already done it, click the little bell icon, subscribe to our channel. Um, and then what I would love to see is a little thumbs up. Give us some likes. Give us some comments. Tell us what you want to hear, what you want to learn, any of those type of things. Feedback is always key. So what I want to talk about today is I want to talk about e custom EDI solutions. Uh, so there's a lot of people that reach out that'll say, hey, if we want to develop our own solution and we want to develop our own platform and do our own thing internally and not use an existing platform and not use an existing service provider and all of those things. What I'm typically going to say to you is this. How much experience do you have in EDI? How much experience do you have in developing tools in the EDI world and the EDI platform and dealing with managed uh, file transfers and, and all of those things that come along with EDI and understanding all the different involvements? Uh, a lot of times what I hear is, well, it can't be that hard. Uh, I think you're underestimating what you're, what you're looking to do and what you're looking to take on. So why not look at some of the tools that are out there to give you a step ahead? to help you with maybe certain pieces of managed file transfers. Uh, there's free software that's out there that'll enable you to do FTP clients directly. It'll also enable you to do AS2 connections. Um, there's also free software that's out there that'll enable you to do translation, that'll enable you to do those different pieces. And then there's also ones that are out there that are paid. You know, they can pick up a heavy lift of transforming your e different EDI file types. So ANSI X12 to a JSON or XML to EDI ANSI X12, vice versa. Uh, there's pieces out there like, you never know, maybe you can just use the AWS for storing your files instead of developing something. Maybe you can go to the steady or stedi.com and look at what they provide out there. Take a look at these resources like EDI Nation that has EDI Fabric to allow you to pick up certain aspects of that EDI translation or transforming or the storage of the documents. Because guess what? If you go to those different sites and you look at those different resources, you'll see that people have done a lot of the heavy lift and the research and all the things that you're looking to do and it can put you months ahead of your development instead of spinning your wheels trying to figure it out because hey maybe you think edi is easy it's not that easy it's not there's a lot of knowledge and a lot of years of experience and things that have to be come together in order for you to build a true platform and to build it so that it can handle all the different aspects of EDI. Again, you don't want to build it into a corner. You want to build it that it's robust. So use these pieces that are out there that, hey, they've done this. They've developed an any-to-any -any file transformation or translation. And they've also developed doing MFT, Managed File Transfer Services. So you can pick up bits and pieces that are out there and you can leverage them because now it's going to take you to that end goal a lot faster and it's not building you into a corner most of the times when i see these development companies that are out there or entities that reach out they're thinking narrowly and you got to think robust you have to think of what you're going to take care of of possibilities in the future whether it be api connections whether it be conforming to a different file format any of those things. So again, reach out, Jim Gonzalez, EDI Support, LLC. We're here to help. Um, we're going to be putting up some of these different resources that I mentioned during the video. Um, we're going to have little links on our on our website. That way you can click to them. You can take a little research to look into them, um, see what they offer, see what they have out there. Just make your life a little bit easier. Take care.